Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to rent a car in Canada. But before we start, hurry up and check out our daily self urges under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we rent a car in Canada? So before we are able to actually rent a car in Canada, there are a few things or a few details that you need to know here. So if you're a visitor from another country and intend to hire a car in Canada, it is essential to indicate your country of residence whenever you're renting something or renting a car. So it's crucial to understand that renting uh, to, that to rent a vehicle, you must possess a valid driver's license from your home country, which must be presented when you pick up the car. Also, additionally, if your driver license is not in English, it is mandatory to have I or to have either an English translation or international driver's permit or IDP alongside your foreign license whenever you are driving. So this ensures compliance with local regulations and facilities uh, facilitates smooth communication with authorities if necessary, necessary during the travels in Canada. So again, most important uh, details you need to have here is your driver's license. An IDP, uh, if you uh, if you if you want to also get that, just to guarantee a few things, and also your driver's license here or your uh, passport as well as your driver's license. But once you got those, we are now ready to start booking a car, or in this case, res renting a car. So we could actually use the platform for Booking.com for renting a car. So you could go to car rentals here. And from here, you can just specify where you want to actually the pickup location is going to be the pickup date, the time drop off date when you're actually going to be done with the car and the time for it. So you could go and click on search. So in this case, it's going to search the best deals for you. But in this case, you should be able to see a few cars here. So in this case, we have the following cars here. So for example, we want to get the Ford Koga here or the Fiat 500e. So let's go ahead and click on the view deal option here. Now, you should be able to see deals about this car here, which in this case, the number of seats it actually supports, the number of luggages may be large or small, and if it's the miles per rental, as well as the uh, car itself, it's manual or automatic. So you could also read the imp important information here so that you, you're aware of uh, the uh, following or the uh, the fees that is within included in here like the security deposit here any requirements they need like a credit card driver license or passport or national id any damage excess here or mileages so in this case so you have the uh, great uh, options here so again make sure to read the important information here because sometimes there are going to be some fees that you need to pay just in case something uh you went over something like the mileage here so in this case you also have the option to add uh, additional uh, services or extras into your rental like a babysit or additional driver here but for now let's go and click on continue to book now you have the option to add protection into your car rental so you can either choose no protection or full protection so it actually protects you from uh, windows mirror wheels and tires just in case they actually break car access and even additional ad administration and breakdown charges so let's go and click on go to book with full protection and from here, you should be able to see the car. So in this case, just provide the uh, de uh, the details itself. Like for example, the dr main driver details here. So that includes the email address, first name, last name, contact number, country of residence, your billing address or driver's billing address, and the uh, payment itself. Now, it is suggested that you read the terms of service, policy terms, and rental terms here. But once you provide all those details and read all the details provided in here, you can go ahead and proceed by clicking on the Book Now button and you should be able to start renting a car in Canada. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.